Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping Incense. I'm sitting in traffic. I know I didn't film yesterday as far as a walking vlog. I only did a, a fine fragrance mist uh, scent haul. And that's because yesterday was a very long day. It was a bad work day. You know, you just have those days that are just bad work days. So I was extremely tired and my anxiety was bad. Tension, pain in my back, my muscles all tensed up. I just, um, it was just a really bad day. And so I could have let it get to me, but <clears throat> I, uh, I put on my good, my good girl, I put on my big girl panties and I, or big girl pants, either way, and um, I pull myself together and I continue to work at home to catch up on, you know, what just can't, kind of went haywire during the day. And I was hoping that today would be a better day. I don't want to say I couldn't imagine it being worse than yesterday. But I have like this little plaque in my uh, house that says, in my apartment, that says, uh, breathe. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. <clears throat> so, I got through today and today was productive and I hit my goals for today work-wise you know and uh, you know what's funny yesterday after I just had this awful day I figured I'd cheer myself up by doing you know a Bath and Body Works video I had gotten my the package in the mail and you know I thought that cheered me up and then some idiot had to post a comment saying you always not make fun of but you always say something about old people and I've stopped calling them old people and started calling them mature people they said you look 60 well the lighting must have been real bad because there's no way I look 60 and now the lighting is super bad here too but I have said many times in my videos that my mom is 75 years old she did not have me when she was 15 I am so far away from 60 so that was like the cherry on the cake of my day I had a bad day and then somebody said you look 60 <sighs> I'd be a senior citizen I wouldn't have to worry about work I'd be retired now there's a car stopped in the middle of the road and I'm not going to be able to get around him can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Oh my God. This idiot has to put his flashers on. And then everybody's got to go around him. So what, anyway, even though today was a better day, I, I just, you know, was tossing and turning last night. I didn't sleep well. I had the anxiety. So now today, I, uh, you know, even though it was better, I still feel real, real tired. And I feel like uh, tightness, I don't want to say tightness in my chest. I feel like my bra is strangling me. Um, and I have tightness and, and tension in my back. And I just feel just crappy. You know, I feel run into the ground. I don't think I'm going to be walking today. I mean, I worked a lot of hours yesterday. I worked a lot of hours today. And I, uh, like I said, did not have much peace. So, anyway, talk about other things. Uh, Malcolm is still not playing with his octopus. He still hasn't quite figured out what the octopus is. So, I don't know if I'll be returning that. I know I said I was going to go back to Petco yesterday to get him a leash for a medium-sized dog instead of a small dog which is what I bought by accident but it, it goes from size extra small to extra large but 
small is up to 33 pounds and he's 30 pounds but I think I would like I mean what am I gonna do I, I don't know if he's gonna go up to 33 pounds or, or not so I was thinking I should get for a medium dog but I was so exhausted yesterday and so just not in the right frame of mind to be doing anything except go home and try to finish some of these project goals that I had that um, I didn't even go to Petco. I didn't even think about Petco. I was just like, I'm just, I, I can't. I need to go for a massage. That's what I need. I need a massage. I need somebody to work out the tension that's all over. I posted a, a photo on my Instagram yesterday of Malcolm taking care of me when I was sick one time. And he does that most of the time. If I'm sick and I'm in bed, he'll stay in bed with me as long as I'm in bed and he, he watches me. So like I would tell him, Malcolm, I need a massage. And so I'll be like lying on my stomach and he'll walk on me, like he'll step on me and he'll step on my back right but then he doesn't know what to do and he's like okay I'm here mama you know what do I do now so can't get Malcolm to give me a massage he tries he tries you know I think sometimes he understands more than I really believe he understands so the picture is of him standing on my back kind of and me looking just disastrous but not looking 60 so I'm almost at my mom's house to pick him up. And I'll talk to my mom about my day. And she always makes me feel better. It's late. It's super late. It's not, not super late, but it's just, it's a long day. Long day. You know? I'm actually supposed to work less in the summer, not more. But it all goes by you know what the happenings are so I don't know what I want for dinner what do I want for dinner do I want salad again for dinner having like just smoothies and fat free low fat muffins and um, salad I haven't I haven't been really eating that much stuff for dinner I don't know what I want for dinner I'm gonna have to figure that out maybe my mom will have a suggestion I just feel like I want to crawl into bed you ever feel so just exhausted? Like every inch of you feels exhausted? And you just want to go, go to bed? And I had... I had at least two cups of coffee today. At least two cups of coffee. A cup of iced coffee and a cup of hot coffee. And I still feel tired. Is this parking... It's not really parking. I want to park far away because I don't want to walk. Oh, here's parking that's not so far. All right. I'm good. So this will give me the opportunity to walk a little bit because it's not that close to my mom. So I'll have to walk a little bit. And I'll see what she has to say. She's always comforting. She always makes me feel better. Well, usually. Oh my God, I'm telling you the tightness in my back. Oh, I need somebody like, I love that walk on my back. I need somebody just to, to make a pizza in my back. You know, like how cats make a pizza. It's like what I, I used to have cats and they take the, 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 whatever it is, the thing that they're sitting on, there's a blanket 
or the bed or something and they, they, they make like a kneading thing. It's, it's I always say it's like they're making a pizza. So that's what I need. I need somebody just to, just to needle in my back. There was a woman a long, well, not a long time ago, but it was at least, at least four, four or five years ago. I had pulled a muscle. I would say five years ago. I pulled a muscle in my back, lifting a fish tank that I had, the 10 gallon fish tank. And when I tell you, I pulled such a muscle, it was killing me. Like I, I was going to have to go to the doctor because I couldn't even sit down. That's how bad it was. I couldn't even sit down. I was constantly, I would sit and then I would get up and I would pace back and forth and pace back and forth. And I took like those Don's back pills and stuff. It was just a horrible pain. I thank God I've never had it since before or since, but I went to this, um, I went to this woman because the, the, the person, the guy that I go to for my nails, the guy that has the nail salon, he has a big salon and then he has a smaller salon, which I think he closed, he's since closed down after COVID. Um, that's on the next block. And they did mas massage, $10 for 10 minutes or something like that. And I went there and this woman, I thought I was going to go in a room with a table and just get you know, lie on my stomach and get a massage, right? And your face goes into that donut thing. No, you, uh, you sit in a, on a chair, like you're straddling a chair and your face is in the donut thing. And you're out in the open with the other people getting their toes done and stuff. And it's completely em embarrassing and you feel ridiculous. And I really don't think that's how they're supposed to do it. So I was on this massage chair I was slurring my words. I was on this massage chair. And that woman, oh, did she pound my back. She made she, such a pizza in my back. I mean, she really, she like really dug her nail, not her nails, like her knuckles in my back. She really worked out every muscle and she really worked it out good. And then I was okay for a little while after that. I was okay for a little while. I didn't think she was going to be that tough on me, you know, and it was good. Um, I wish I could go back to her, but like I said, I think the place closed. Um, yeah, I could use that. I could use that kind of massage. My luck, I fall asleep and I wouldn't be able to move. Yeah, that was good. Anybody have back tension I mean like oh, I have tension you know what I even have like tension I don't want to say headache but everything is kind of tense everything is kind of tense my head is kind of tense everything is tensed up I'm all like wound up tight like a knot this is attractive this should be my thumbnail look like the Klingon guy from Star Trek you know with the wrinkles in his forehead Okay, I'm going to go walk over and say hi to mom before she falls asleep. Okay, let's try to walk out some of the anxiety. It's humid. It's really humid. I have on like a, a sweatshirt, but it's like a, a lighter sweatshirt. I wonder how my mom's day was. I wonder if she and Malcolm had good conversations. Yeah, birds chirping, it's nice. I need to treat myself to a spa day, like sit in a mud bath or something. I've never done that before. Has any, anyone out there ever just like sat in mud? You know, I need, I need a spa day. See, if I had won the lotto, like that woman that won that $3 million that I was telling you guys about, 
I could take a lot of spa days. I would, I would not have tension and stress. I would not have anxiety. All right, you little guys don't need to watch me walk this little bit. So where is the duty master? Duty master of the universe. We gotta smell everything. I decided I'm gonna get a grilled chicken with salad. if we ever get past smelling everything. Malcolm, stop smelling everything. You cannot be the duty master if you don't move. Come on, let's go. Uh, come on. Forever. Why do you gotta, you peed on the tree, then you gotta smell it? To see what it smell like? Look, it looks like it's fall with the leaves. But the leaves on the trees are still green. Come on, duty master, we have to go get a salad. Work those drumsticks before it starts raining. So humid, so very humid. And I know he's just gonna make giant duties I know he's going to make giant duties. Let's go. Okay. I am hot and humid and sticky and disgusting. And it is almost 8 o'clock. And the duty master... Can you see him? You can't see him. He's back there. Pretend you can see him. He just blends in. Duty master, I don't know. So, I decided I was going to get the build your own salad from this um, health food place. They have your, you know, build your own salad. So, I got my usual with an extra added thing. I got romaine lettuce. I know you gotta watch out for the lettuce because there's always some E. coli thing that they're talking about, but romaine lettuce, grilled chicken, black olives, celery, chickpeas, mushrooms, and today I added sliced green bell pepper with light Italian dressing on the side. <clears throat> so that, that will be the feast. That will be the feast. First, I will go pick up my salad. Then I will go home and take a shower because I cannot sit and enjoy my salad. In my, I take it out of their container that they put it in and I put it in my giant red caveman bowl because I have to be able to, I don't know what that was. I have to be able to swoosh it around, all mix all the things all together. I can't have it all contained in that little, little aluminum, you know, round thing that they give you. I got to spread it out in my caveman bowl and see what's in there and distribute, distribute like I used to do with my masks, distribute the essence, distribute the dressing and mix everything all together. And then I sit with Malcolm and we watch TV and I eat my salad out of my giant caveman bowl, just like Fred Flintstone would do. And then you would be like Dino, right? Yeah, he doesn't. He's like, I don't know who that is. All right, let me get going. So the, the sooner I stop talking to you, the closer I can be to salad. Okay, so Malcolm is passed out. I put the air conditioner on in the kitchen and the living room because he has to find the proper air stream flow to get maximization of the cool air on his belly. I gave him cold water in his bowl and now I'm gonna to put together my salad and then I have some stuff to tell you guys uh, before I close out the vlog. We gotta do the scent of the day and all that kind of stuff. 
You know what I watched the other day? I want to tell you guys that I haven't watched since I was a kid. They had on Crocodile Dundee. Remember that movie? Oh, it came out in 1986. I was little, little. So, I watched, they had back-to-back -back Crocodile Dundee Part 1, which I've seen before. Part 2, which I don't remember ever seeing, but it was actually pretty good. And then, a couple of years later, they came out with Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles, which looks a little silly, but I have to say, you know what? I might have to watch that. I might have to get that, that DVD. It's weird because if you buy the, the one and two as a set, it's a reasonable price. It's like under $10. But if you want to get the three as a set, you know, like an all one packaging, it's like 30 something dollars, which is ridiculous because you could buy the one and two for under 10 and then the one in Los Angeles is like five bucks. So why would you do that? Just to have the special, you know, front cover packaging with like the three stripes across it, the one, two and the Los Angeles. Anyway, yeah, I enjoyed watching those two movies and uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to look out for that third one. Check it out. Let's get to the salad. Okay, so here's the salad. It's packaged up real tight in there with all the veggies. Then you, I got my dressing on the side and then they give you um, a piece of whole wheat uh, pita bread. So this is gonna have to go in my caveman bowl because we have some mixing to do. Okay, so this is what I call my caveman bowl. Right? I mix everything together. Now you can see in there, let's see together because hard to see. You got your mushrooms, olives, got your chickpeas, celery, and I was looking for my green peppers. I thought they forgot them, but they're in there. They're just not big slices. They're little, little pieces. Where the hell are they? Oh, here's one. See, that's what they look like. They kind of mixed in with the celery. That's a green pepper. So we're gonna mix this. We're gonna sit down with my caveman bowl. Oh, and then let me show you. I posted this on Instagram. If you guys have not tried, this is, where does it say it on there? This is Pepsi Zero. What does it say, Pepsi Mango? Oh, I bought one of the regular kind. Shit, um, excuse me, uh, crap. There's the other one that was in my fridge that I wanted to tell you about. I'll have to leave this for the boyfriend. Although, I'm, you know, halfway done. Pepsi makes zero sugar mango flavor now. And it's actually, well, the regular is good. I'm assuming the zero sugar is just as good. They make it in cherry as well. But the cherry has been out for a while. Some people ask me how the mango was. I can't believe I bought one of each and didn't realize the difference since one is blue and one is black. And it clearly says zero sugar. Oh, okay. So, I have tried the Pepsi Zero mango, and it's not as good as the regular, the regular Pepsi mango with sugar. You can definitely taste the difference. Still good though. Now, Duty Master, Duty Master, he's of course the closest to the air conditioning in whatever room he's in. Duty Master is also chicken stealer. And I know when I've left my salad, my giant salad unattended, he has pulled a piece of chicken out of it. Chicken stealer. You gotta keep it and keep your eye on him. Yeah, see, he winked at me. So Victoria's Secret must have heard me talking about them because they sent me coupons in the mail. And I'm actually glad to see a I don't want to say a fuller figured, 
but a normal average size woman on the front instead of a skinny mini. So I don't want to show my address, but so you look at the salad and I will show you what the coupons say. They have a whole bunch of pictures. Let me show you the pictures, look. See, they have the skinny minis, but they also have a little, you know, somebody's got a little bit of tummy there, which is good. Okay, so this, the coupons are free panty, valid on panties regularly up to $12.50. $10 off a $40 purchase. That might be good. $30 off a $100 purchase. Mm, don't think I'm going to be spending $100 in Victoria's Secrets. Don't think so. I have bills this month. Malcolm, I know I, I bought some stuff from Bath and Body Works, but that haul that I did the other day was under $50. With the shipping and everything, all it was under 50. Because I used free item coupons, 20% off, and it was a $5.95 sale, and then with the coupon, it came out to $4 per item, so. Anyway, Malcolm needs his heart guard medicine, which is uh, expensive. That's the heartworm preventative that all dogs are supposed to take to prevent heartworms, so. Malcolm takes it. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what the vet tells me, so. And he's still not playing. He's still not playing with his octopus. But I got 30 days to return it. So you better figure out the octopus. You better figure him out. Okay? Hey guys, so I'm ready to do the scent of the day and also uh, get ready for bed and close out this vlog. So I was going to continue on with my Pinkberry Clouds, which I've been using, uh, Pinkberry Clouds and Champagne Sprinkles. I've been definitely, I've been using this set in the shower, uh, the shower gel. I've been using all three of the Pinkberry Clouds, but today... Instead of Pinkberry Clouds, I decided to alternate and use Raspberry Jam Donut, which is one of my favorite scents, and I have some bad news. The, the body cream is definitely turning. It's already yellow. We knew it was yellow, right? We already knew it was yellow. It's not separating yet. It is kind of. We knew it was turning yellow. But... It still smelled okay, right? But now it's starting to smell sour. Now for you guys who have criticized and said, oh, well, you let the product stay too long. This is not an old scent. And it's already starting to smell sour. Luckily, and I have the, I have the shower gel. I haven't been using the shower gel yet. The Raspberry Jam Donut Spray I have. But luckily, I did pick it up in the Raspberry Jam Donut Body Lotion. So the body lotion is perfectly fine. It doesn't smell sour. So I think I'm going to have to see what I'm going to do with this body cream. Because this is not hardly used. I mean, it's used, but it's not. It's like, I don't know, a quarter. I've used up maybe like that much. It's sour now. So what do I do? I like the scent. I don't want to exchange it. I don't want to bring it back. I want to continue to use it. But it's sour. And I'm smelling it on myself. And I smell it, right? And it smells like raspberry jam donut. But then it smells like sour milk. And I'm like, oh, that smells like sour milk. That's not usable anymore. That has to go back. So, yeah, it smells like sour milk. So I'm very, very disappointed, but I am glad that I do have the body lotion that I can use. 
And I have a feeling that also Champagne Sprinkles is starting to turn. Uh, I checked my Confetti Cake Pop. It's not turning yet. But all of these body creams, if you don't use them right away, they start to turn. And I'm not talking about even a year. Bath & Body Works says its products last for two years after opening. And that's really not true anymore. They really go bad fast. So if you're not going to use up your body cream, especially if it's like a bakery, dairy, vanilla note, if you're not going to use it in a month or two months, it's going to go bad on you. I'm worried because I love champagne sprinkles. I just got it. It just came out for SAS. And, you know, it's um, I can see, I can sense it's starting to turn. So the scent of the day is raspberry jam donut. Raspberry jam donut. Yeah. All right, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you hopefully all tomorrow for another edition of the Walking Vlogs. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.